Disney has been the leading force in animated features for over 80 years, having released a total of 58 classic films between 1939 and 2020, a vast majority of which are universally beloved and considered timeless. Following my series of videos ranking the Disney animations by era, I will now rank all 58 features of the Walt Disney Classics canon, spanning Snow White to Frozen 2, in my own order of personal preference. Please note as this video focuses strictly on the films of Walt Disney Animation, those made by Disney Toon Studios or Disney Channel will not be included. Neither will such titles as The Wild and Valiant, which were released under the Disney banner but not actually made by Disney. And that, let's get into it. Coming in at number 58, Home on the Range. Overblown, boisterous and chock full of juvenile comedy, terrible characters, mediocre songs and a stale plot. Artistically it's Disney's blandest and narratively it lacks all the heart and soul of the classics. As the film which killed traditional animation at Disney, it deserves bottom place. 57. Chicken Little With a bloated and overstretched narrative loaded with terrible puerile gags, incredibly annoying characters, dated pop culture references and pop tunes and painfully subpar animation, it has absolutely no Disney charm. There was no excuse for this poorly and cheaply produced film to ever hatch in this state. 56. Dinosaur this film saw the studio experimenting with CG animation by utilising a hybrid workflow. However, with cartoony characters, this ultra-realistic style makes for a film that feels a little too uncanny valley. 55. Saludos Amigos The result of a government-sanctioned goodwill tour of the Latin Americas to change wartime perspective of the region. This 42-minute movie feels nothing more than a piece of propaganda. However, much of it fails to actually represent the culture accurately, with silly gags that go against the grain of what's trying to be done. 54. Make Mine Music The first proper package feature and the most hodgepodge of them all, throwing together 10 random shorts of sporadic length, all completely polarising with no concise theme or structure stringing them together. With an odd pacing, the entire thing is a laborious and frustrating feat to trudge through. 53. Melody Time Likewise, stitching together shorts of various lengths and absolutely no concise thread, this is yet another struggle to get through. It does however feature great experimentation in animation, which makes it a markedly more enjoyable feature. 52. The Sword in the Stone with Walt less invested creatively due to a preoccupation with other ventures, the movie struggles to stay consistent, jumping between set pieces so rapidly that it becomes a hodgepodge of disconnected sequences and over-the-top slapstick comedy, offering very little of the substance of Disney's other features. 51. Brother Bear Kicking off with a super serious intro sequence, it soon spirals into an overly cutesy family oriented fantasy comedy. While both film sections are great in their own right, and despite telling a gorgeous, touching story filled with beautiful morales, the movie ultimately feels incredibly muddled and ill paced. 50. The Fox and the Hound Marking a turning point for the studio, this notably marked the arrival of the new guard of artists. As an in between film, there is a jumbled feel, with juxtaposition between experienced and inexperienced artists incredibly noticeable. It overall feels simple and generic despite having a beautifully heartfelt story. 49. Oliver and Company this is one I find to be quite generic and uninteresting, however the hip, modern spin on the Disney formula, characters, setting and music is ultimately the movie's downfall. It lacks the timeless quality of the Disney classics and feels incredibly dated. 48. Black Cauldron Possibly the least Disney Disney movie ever thanks to its dark tone and inferior quality. While a decent showcase of artistic design which shows promise and desire, its character animation is rigid and its stilted narrative is slow and tiresome. Overall, not a great film. 47. Treasure Planet It's an exciting, visually stunning adventure full of great heart, fantastic characters and a terrific cast, but a film I've never been able to find a personal connection to. It's a movie that seems terrific on the 
the surface, but never quite hits the mark for me. 46, Fantasia 2000. At its core, it gets the heart of the original film down beautifully, but doesn't work as well. While I have a huge respect and admiration for the exquisitely realised sequences, they don't seem to complement each other as well as those in the original, which were all tied together thematically and artistically. 45, Fun and Fancy Free. A package feature which presents two shorts. Mickey and the Beanstalk is a lot of fun, while Bongo is a little tedious and boring. These are two shorts that are so vastly different narratively and artistically that they just don't feel like they belong together. 44. Meet the Robinsons for only their second fully CG animation, this is a beautifully animated film, with fantastic character designs and dazzling colours. It has an eclectic cast of characters who are zany and hilarious, and while narratively muddled, it's beautifully heartfelt and a highly enjoyable madcap screwball adventure. 43. The Three Caballeros A wonderfully spectacular film that does everything Saludos Amigos aim to do in a more entertaining and culturally respectful way. Straying from the propaganda and a formula, it instead focuses on a series of wonderful animated segments that truly capture the spirit and culture of Latin America. 42. Robin Hood A sluggish movie with a jumbled plot and annoying characters. The implementation of animation shortcuts and grungy use of Xerox makes it feel unattractive and lazy. Despite this, it does have a certain charm. There's something in it that feels so warm, enchanting and nostalgic. 41. The Rescuers Dark and gloomy with sub overly simplistic animation and boring music. Though beneath the glum exterior it does feature appealing characters and enjoyable moments. With the studio wanting to make it on the cheap, the heart and soul struggling filmmakers injected into it saved it from being a complete disaster. 40. Rescuers Down Under Bright, booming, gripping and exciting, it soared to great new heights of animation, offering an incredibly cinematic experience with a scale and scope never before seen. As the first computer generated animated film, it created an art style that would define the future of traditional animation. 39. Frozen, a movie I simply can't get into despite trying multiple times. I find the music and characters annoying and I can't connect with the story. On a technical level however, I appreciate it as a masterpiece of the art form and totally respect its heart and warmth. 38. Zootopia, a movie with a really great, exciting premise, fun laughs, exciting sequences and some fantastic characters. I love its clever, sly take on the buddy cop formula and use of modern film conventions. However, I've always felt that its modern vibe does make it feel a touch generic. 37. Wreck-It Ralph while incredibly fun, exciting and funny, it's never really felt Disney enough to me, feeling like it could have been made by any studio. The animation is superb and I adore John C. Riley's vocal performance, but it's not a film I personally connect with. 36. Ralph Breaks the Internet A great premise with wonderful messages and morales attached. However, it also feels convoluted and overloaded with quickly dated filler material and meta gags, most of which restrict the film from having a timeless quality. As I did connect with the pop culture based easter eggs more so than the gaming based ones from the first, I enjoy it marginally more. 35. Winnie the Pooh. With some great animation and a delightful story, this one does feel a little thin, especially with its anthology-like nature and 70 minute runtime. Regardless, it's an adorable movie with familiar characters. Still sad that this was the last hurrah for Disney traditional animation. 34. Frozen 2. Though a little slow, sluggish and predictable, this worked better for me than the original. The darker elements are well realised and the more mature exploration of the world and its characters incredibly welcome. Visually, it's also perhaps the most spectacularly crafted CG animation ever. 33. Adventures of Ichabod and Mr Toad The most entertaining and enjoyable and best produced package film of the wartime era, bundling together two charming short features which complement each other beautifully. With Wind in the Willows and Legend of Sleepy Hollow both based on classic literature, as a whole it works very well. 
32. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh Stitching together three previously released short subjects, this is a truly lovely feature full of love, joy, charm and wonder. Despite its packaged nature, it remains an enduring Disney feature with memorable characters that doesn't feel out of place. 31. The Aristocats Despite coming in the studio's darkest age, as one of the last to have any personal touch from Walt and his old guard, it has a certain charm. With a rust of fun characters, an exciting and energetic story, and a vivacious jazzy soundtrack, it's undeniably a lot of fun. 30. The Great Mouse Detective Another dark Disney classic and one of the most stylish and visually stunning. Utilising the Xerox process to great effect and employing a wonderful use of film grain, it's superbly atmospheric and visceral and extremely cinematic, with deeply layered characters and a riveting story. 29. Atlantis The Lost Empire one of Disney's most underappreciated, likely because it doesn't have that trademark Disney feel, with a darker, more serious tone. However, it's a magnificently visceral experience on a grand scale unlike any other. Its action is plentiful and unmatched, and its characters wildly enjoyable. 28. Bolt a super enjoyable and exciting adventure loaded with action, a terrifically entertaining and original premise, and a roster of outrageously amusing characters. It's easily one of Disney's best stories of self-discovery, with Bolt's journey fun, heartfelt, touching, and delightfully told. 27. Big Hero 6 A wonderfully unique comic book adaptation of a fairly obscure source material. The film captures everything a great superhero story should have. Family, friends and selflessness and some epic action sequences to boot. 26. The Hunchback of Notre Dame Despite losing some of that Disney spark in its overt darkness swarmed with violence and heavy mature overtones and symbolism, its grand scale, spectacular art design, exquisite music and overall grand majesty make for an incredibly special Disney anomaly that truly shines. 25. Mulan from the stunning Chinese-inspired animation and background art, the strong and feisty lead who paved the way for future Disney heroines, to the incredible action sequences, it's an immensely exciting, sweeping adventure with enormous epic grandeur, unlike any traditional animation before or after. 24. The Princess and the Frog a truly delightful film with some of Disney's most gorgeous traditional animation, a beautiful story, wonderful characters, villains worthy of the Disney greats, and a spectacular New Orleans jazz-infused score from Randy Newman. It's such a disappointment that it never received the reception that it deserved. 23. The Emperor's New Groove Featuring one of Disney Animation's greatest vocal ensembles ever and weaving a beautifully existential story of self-discovery with great morales, clever comedy, remarkably madcap characters with brilliant arcs and of course terrific music, it's riotously entertaining and one of Disney's most fun animations ever. 22. Lady and the Tramp Easily the most charming feature to come out of the Silver Age, Disney's most iconic love story is filled to the brim with heart and soul, unforgettable moments, highly memorable characters, catchy songs and fun adventure. Inspired by 19th century Americana, it is a unique wonder. 21. 101 Dalmatians One of Walt's most exciting, most thrilling adventures ever. A quirky film that harnesses a bizarre story, clever slapstick comedy and eccentric characters including one of the greatest ever, Cruella de Vil, who steals the show with her boisterous wickedness, it is an enormous bundle of fun. 20. Pocahontas Riddled with controversy surrounding its sanitised and inaccurate storytelling, it still manages to tell a tender story of equality and acceptance. Featuring some of the most breathtaking music of the period and with a unique design palette, it's one of the most undeniably gorgeous pictures. 19. Peter Pan Disney's first high adventure animation and a film whose style is almost completely unmatched, cleverly blending then modern extravagance with classic Disney class. Despite a thin narrative, its whimsical charm, stunning visual effects and lighting techniques and delightful characters make up for it. 18. Alice in Wonderland 
script. While narratively incoherent, playing out like a storybook, animators broke the classical mold and experimented with exuberant visuals, vibrant colours and over-the-top characters, creating a truly original and unique visual and narrative landscape and tone, and Disney's most surreal and eccentric early feature. 17. Lilo and Stitch A wonderful story of self-discovery with two lead characters finding hope and happiness in their unlikely friendship. Oozing all the fields, it's an incredible joy to watch and impossible to escape with dry eyes, whether from crying hysterically or laughing uncontrollably. 16. Cinderella as the first to have major conceptual input from Mary Blair, it ushered in an extravagantly stylized and stunningly designed animation form. The film is an enormous pleasure for the soul. It's gloriously enchanting and captivating, with a heartwarming story brimming with hope and happiness. 15. Moana Showcasing some of the greatest CG animation ever, with gorgeous, vibrant colours, brilliant clarity and incredibly realistic design. It has a touching and inspiring story, brilliant multi-dimensional characters and fantastic music. 14. Tangled Fun characters and a wonderful plot make this as touching and timeless as any of the early Disney classics. With a stunning soft pastel palette, great character designs and impeccable humour, heart and soul, it's easily my favourite CG animated Disney flick. 13. Tarzan Utilising pioneering technology, it features some of the most exhilarating sequences of any traditional animation. Phil Collins' work on the movie's soundtrack is terrific, with some touching and tender songs and some exceptionally entertaining ones too. Narratively, the film is gripping, exciting and hugely compelling. 12. Hercules. Relaying stories from Greek mythology in a vibrant, exciting and impeccably tongue-in-cheek manner and featuring brilliant music, fun action fantasy sequences and a lot of really great comedy, this is an incredibly showy and flashy Disney flick, though a muddled narrative holds it back slightly. 11. The Little Mermaid. Single-handedly kicking off Disney's renaissance, it features some of the most colourful and stunningly beautiful traditional animation, as well as some of the most enjoyable characters and beautiful musical numbers. The love and care that went into the film radiates from every one of its elements. 10. Aladdin the most magical picture from the Renaissance, full of wonder, awe and pure escapist high fantasy. The work of Robin Williams is incredible, not only delivering inimitable ad-libs and off-the-wall humour, but an enormous heart, soul and passion, making for a tender and moving film with a beautiful heart. 9. Bambi from its spectacular use of the multiplane camera to create a deeply layered forest to its revolutionary creature animation, it's an undeniable masterpiece of the art form and a spectacular showcase of golden age animation with a gorgeous deeply layered story and lovable characters. 8. Dumbo Made to reimburse studio losses, it was given a stripped budget resulting in a simplistic style. However, storytellers wholly invested in a riveting, tear-jerking tale of heroism and the triumph of the human spirit. It's one of the most unique, stylish and beautiful Disney animations. 7. Sleeping Beauty a truly underappreciated masterpiece, incorporating stunning visual effects and animation and one of my favourite Disney scores, a magnificent arrangement of Tchaikovsky's Sleeping Beauty, giving the film a classic and euphoric aura, a visually arresting masterpiece, an undeniable technological and visual marvel, and Walt's true magnum opus. 6. The Jungle Book with an incredible narrative, unforgettable characters, spectacular music from the Sherman Brothers and gorgeous art, it's a true example of a lightning in a bottle movie, where all the elements line up so flawlessly to create an almost impossibly perfect film. 5. Beauty and the Beast An important film for me as the one that helped me realise the true potential of emotional storytelling in the animated art form. With one of the most heartfelt love stories ever and stunning groundbreaking animation, it's one of the most charming and enchanting Disney movies. 4. The Lion King the animation and its gorgeous sun-drenched colours, the character's immense lovability and human spirit, and the mix of genre-defying and culturally infused music makes this the most cinematic animated adventure ever. It never ceases to give me chills and I adore it completely. 3. Pinocchio 
a practically perfect piece of art and Walt's most epic film, displaying some of the most incredible traditionally animated sequences in the history of the art form. Heartwarming, heartbreaking and tender, it grips you tightly and throws you through all the emotions you could ever imagine. Two. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This simply beautiful film forged the path for the animated art form as the first feature length cell drawn film. Walt's struggle to make it amongst industry pressure is wholly inspiring as is its simple yet touching story. It proves with ambition, a little faith, trust and pixie dust you can make any dream a reality. And coming in as my number one Walt Disney animation of all time, Fantasia. One of the most important, influential and inspirational milestones in animated film and Disney's greatest showcase of the art of animation. It's an incredible, visceral experience filled with stunning experimental animation that exemplifies the glorious relationship between music and the moving image. Once again, if you'd like to hear my in-depth thoughts on all the Disney classics, don't forget to check out my era rankings in the playlist at the end of the video. And at that, it's over to you. I'd love to hear your full or partial ranking of the Disney animated canon. As always, fire away down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.